and try to send an sms so this is how you get some message or this particular link is there right and when you tap on this particular link see it is opening up our application so that is how we implement a deep link here and in real time scenario this might not be the case you can just go to the google chrome or any other browser on your device you can just tap on the link or you can just copy paste the link and that will open up your application and if your application is not available it will redirect to you to a to the respective app store or google play based on the device where this particular link is open in this vlog we are going to see how to implement deep linking so till now we have dealt with apps flyer and we have seen the basic introduction to apps flyer integration to our android and ios applications creating applications on dashboard and also we have tried to send events from the android application and we have even observed those events so all these things we have covered in these particular tutorials and if you have not gone through these particular tutorials i will be providing the link in the description section below and i suggest you to watch them before getting started because you will be getting a good idea on what is a apps flyer and how we integrate it with our flutter applications so now let's get started with this particular tutorial and try to deal how we implement the actual deep link in our flutter application in our previous tutorials as well we have covered deep linking implementation in our flutter applications but then i got few questions like is there any alternative way other than firebase so i said i mean stay subscribed and i will be providing those tutorials and this is it the particular series i have been doing for those who added a comment on my video and so if you follow this particular series you can have an alternative for firebase deep linking and not only uh, a general deep linking here we have quite a good features when you try to interact with apps flyer sdk in your application so while it let's get started with this particular tutorial and try to have our first deep link so now let us try to configure the android application first and then surely we will try to configure the ios application as well and now quickly try to go to the android manifest file here and you will be having metadata and intel filter that we need to add over here so for android developers you might be well so for android developers you might be well familiar with this particular metadata and intent filter and if others who wanted to know what is this particular metadata and intent filter just let me know in the comment section below i have clearly explained in our previous tutorials what it is and what it does i will be trying to provide you those links in the description section below and the comment section as well if you are interested so now let's quickly try to add the metadata field so we are adding one more metadata tag over here and this is the opening and closing of our metadata you can simply add a forward slash if you don't want to have opening and closing separately like a tag here so this is again xml kind of uh, declarations so now the first thing what we want to specify is android name and here we are going to specify com dot apps flyer and this particular code i will be providing you on our website and the link for the code i will be providing in the description section below so i suggest you to just try to concentrate on this particular tutorial rather than coding and if you wanted to parallelly code just for the first time try to listen to this particular tutorial and then after understanding the concept then start coding so that you won't miss any valuable information so the next thing is value we are going to specify here and dev key so in the first tutorial itself while configuring we have got this particular dev key right so make this into a constant uh, file and try to access from there it will be very much helpful or from the strings so in the real time application you will know much better how to deal with this particular constant things and the other metadata uh, we need to add over here so this one is for dev key 
and the other one is for one link id we are going to add and i will be quickly adding that one as well so just try to concentrate on these particular things com dot apps flyer and also i suggest don't make a simple mistake at least a small full stop because it, it will not at all work if you miss at least a single word over here so i'll provide you the detailed code in the description section below like our website so from there you can just copy and add it if you are finding any difficulty in opening up your application with the deep link and here this one is the one link id when you generate the one link from your apps flyer dashboard right there you will get this particular value so we'll try to add it uh, then and there uh, for now i'm just making it like an empty but make sure you add this particular one link id from your apps flyer dashboard itself don't just add uh, what i am adding because it might not work for you so here the next thing is we are going to add an intent filter and this particular intent filter will take care of your application i mean it will listen to the deep link and try to open up the application and how it is done we'll see in a moment let's try to make this android auto verify and what is this android auto verify in our previous tutorials i have clearly explained and i will try to provide those links again for you you can go through it it is a very easy concept again i have uh, made it very easy to understand a tutorial for you i will be providing them as well so here till then auto verify in the sense we are trying to verify our application here such that whenever the link whenever you try to open a particular link then it will get recognized and that particular application is open okay and don't worry uh, i'll be showing you uh, even that so i'll be adding all these things quickly so here i have added uh, the complete intent filter and also you can find i have added the metadata value as well over here so i'll be clearly explaining you uh, here the android schema is always https and android host is amplifyabi.onelink.me here so this is particular link which we have created in the apps flyer dashboard and this is a value for that and here the next step i will be quickly try to show you how to create a one link in our apps flyer dashboard so these are apps flyer dashboard and and in this particular tutorial i have clearly explained you these particular options available over here here you have got engage tab here and in this particular engage tab you have got experiences and deep link under which you have one link management so for the first time when you tap this particular button you will be getting a get started kind of uh, button over there and i have already created few deep links for testing purpose so now i am able to see those links but for you this might not be the page which will be appearing and when you click on get started you will get this particular page and here we have got a lot of things here don't get confused these are all the way various types of deep links that you can make use of it and here the social to app email to app if i will be providing you the documentation link as well for the apps flyer and even if you are having any issues i will try to explain each one just let me know in the comment section below so these are the various type of deep links which you can create that's why i have uh, made use of the apps flyer for this particular series and now let us try to create a custom deep link now and here select media source name so example your media flat example your media platform i'm just uh, adding my website name that's it and uh, next so when you tap on the next it will ask you for the further details uh, your campaign name so the campaign name i am just going to specify like a tutorial but in real time you will be having a campaign name uh, that you can enter over here retargeting no i am not doing any retargeting here and see in our previous uh, links I have, we have seen right in this particular page so there i have already specified my domain so that particular link it is coming over here and if you have not specified the domain you can uh, specify the domain over there and it doesn't mean that you need to have a website you can just specify some name over here and that will be your one link but make sure 
if you specify that particular link you can't change it so here this amplifier b i have specified red i can't change now here the template id so if you have seen here we have specified uk bl right and here ubl is a capital and k is a small letter so the same which i got from here and this is a url id and if you have any questions you can just tap on here the url id can be a combination of 50 letters and numbers by default it is a eight characters okay so mostly we won't be using that and this is a short url id okay now let's tap on next here and also you can find a qr code for this particular link so that's an amazing thing and you can even share the qr codes as well here this is a social app landing page and i will be clearly explaining you uh, why this particular option is here available all these things in the next tutorial but quickly in this particular tutorial i just want to go with the basic deep linking thing and i want to show you how this thing works and click on the next here and here you have got some value and uh, deep link uh, additional deep link value so these two are also again important which we can use uh, if you want to specify some value over here for example i want to get redirected to profile screen or i just wanted to go to card screen like that uh, you can specify some values here okay but here in this particular tutorial we are not going to profile screen or card screen here we are just trying to open the application and redirection so here you can see ios app i have not added an ios app yet to my apps here so this is the reason even in our previous tutorial when we tried to trigger events right those events were not displayed on our events section and this is the main reason for that i think and we'll try to add a ios app as well and try to test it in the coming tutorials and so now let's try to proceed with the android application so our android application is detected and because uh, when you try to create the first one link it will ask you uh, it will ask you the target so i have specified the android app over there and it is asking to redirect to google play so if the application is not available not installed so if your application is not installed on your end users device then it will go to the google play okay custom store listing options so here you can specify or else if you want it to redirect to your website and on your website also you might be having a page where your android and ios links are available right so even that way you can do or you if you just want the user to redirect to your website you can do the same here so i am providing the default google play option because we are not targeting the website here i mean we are not targeting to open the website we are targeting to open the android application so here when app is installed so when the app is installed right this particular section it covers what it needs to do so as usual ios app uh, we have not selected so there is no ios app and redirect users as users without the app installed okay and here you need to specify your uri schema so here my uri schema would be my app name here so for flutter apps flyer is my app name so i'm going to specify the same over here and try to make sure you specify your app name here that is your uri schema and don't get confused this is a, a https and don't think like it is your uri schema okay and uh, now let's go back and try to click on the next here and these are like additional parameters and just let me know in the comment section below if you are looking to add any additional parameters for more granular analysis so sometimes you will be having some coupon codes like kind of things right uh, so that point of view it will be helpful and see i have uh, created this particular link now and this is a short url and this is a long url so let us try to copy this particular short url and now let us try to run this particular application first on our emulator so we are trying to test on the emulator if the app is already installed let's try to uninstall the app because we have made some changes in manifest file that requires a app installation again a fresh installation so now our application is now installed and as we don't have anything in our application now just a submit button is there and let's try to close the application and here 
I am coming to messaging app. So you might ask me, this is a URL, right? Why can't we open from Chrome? So by default, Chrome is blocking some URLs and even our application is not available in the Play Store, right? So we are just testing a normal application. So this is what the format generally will be like. And I will surely suggest you if you are trying to install your application. I mean, if your application is in Play Store, if you want the support, I will surely try to help you. Just let me know in the comment section below. And one more important aspect we need to do here is like, as our application is a local application, so we need to manually allow. So here open by default and open supported links is enabled, but we need to add the link. See here, I have not added any link. We installed our application and from manifest here, this particular link, it is showing in our device. So I am picking up this particular link and in the real time you need not do and your end users need not do these particular scenarios by default it will be enabled when you update your app to the play store and also you need to add your known links i mean there is a separate section on which uh, how you need to verify your links i will let you know if you add a, a comment in the comment section below in our previous tutorials also we have done that and i'll try to provide the link if anyone is interested so here now we have enabled this particular option as well now come to the messaging thing and i'll try to save this here so one two three i'm just link here and try to send an sms so this is how you get some message or this particular link is there right and when you tap on this particular link see it is opening up our application so that is how we implement a deep link here and in real time scenario this might not be the case you can just go to the google chrome or any other browser on your device you can just tap on the link or you can just copy paste the link and that will open up your application and if your application is not available it will redirect to you to a to the respective app store or google play based on the device where this particular link is open okay and even you can redirect to desktop if it is a desktop you can redirect to website as well and even on mobile devices also you can redirect to website there are a lot of customizations again there is no any fixed way like this is only possible but i hope you found this tutorial interesting and in the next tutorial we will try to see the ios deep linking implementation and please share this particular tutorial with all your friends who are looking forward for this particular deep linking implementation and the code for this tutorial i will be providing in the description section below if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter